There's a, new, a different type of for loop. It's called the enhanced for loop. I don't know if it's really that enhanced. It means you write a little bit less because there's no explicit index, which in one sense is nice because uh, it's one less thing to keep track of. But if you do need the actual index value for some reason, for example, our search used that index value explicitly to tell what position it was in. So if you need to actually use that index value, it's super uh, important you use this first for loop. All right, the enhanced for loop, what it does, you declare a value and a type, and then you use the regular colon, not the semicolon, and this acts like the word in, so it's gonna loop across all integers inside of this array. And in this case, it would just print things out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use enhanced for loops when we can. So search is not a good candidate because again, you have to, you really have to know the index value. So we'll just go and start in range. Um, we have an index here, but we don't really use the value of i. We only use it to access the elements in the array. So let's go ahead and turn uh, the for loop here and make it similar to the for loop on the right. I'm gonna comment this line and we're gonna do for int value colon. Now, what is it in? It's in the array A. And then we need that Alt Shift F, we'll bring it over. <clears throat> All right, and wherever you used A square brackets I, you're gonna put value here and value. Uh, now we need to test this out, make sure it actually works. So this is the in range. Here we go. Call this range. Mean range low high. All right. Now I think it's smart. We made two different random array methods. I'm going to use the one that we can tell it how big to make that array because I don't want some crazy big array. Let's just do let's do 20. I think that's a good number. So we're gonna make an array of 20 and then run through. I don't care at the moment about the equality. I just want to test this in range method here. There are 13 scores between 30 and 90. There's one. Okay, it probably works right there. Uh, if I really want to test it, I pick numbers smaller that I can count on one hand, like five. Three scores between 30 and 90. One. Two, no, I can't count. One, two, three scores between 30 and 90. Uh, four scores between 30 and 90. There's, wait, da, 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 da. that's the score that's not between them, so that seems to work. Also smart to test uh, the extremes, which is size zero. Uh, so we got a slight problem with zero. Uh, will it work for one? Uh, it does work. For one. All right, so where did it fail for zero? So usually the top, uh, the first line that you have is the one that it failed on. All right, so we'll go right to line 82. All right, it failed at the two string. So what's two string doing? Well, our size was zero, so this for loop did not run, but what happened after the for loop? It tried to run this line of code and index negative one for like zero. So if your length is zero, that number is zero, one less is negative one, so we got a problem. So what we're gonna do is treat size zero separately. So if a.length is zero, we're just gonna return that. And then run it again, and there we go. That's what our two string method returned now. So it's nice we just covered a problem right there. A lot of times it's the battery cases that screw you up. All right, negative one should fail because you can't make an array of size negative one. Uh, you could try to make some huge array. Uh, I'm a little afraid to run this. I think it'll run pretty quick-ish. All right, 
So let's look for the next thing we're going to do while this is running. Uh, we can count characters, and how do we do that? Uh, we've used the char at method before, so that's one thing we can do. Uh, you can force everything to lowercase is another good idea. Uh, so this is what our code looked like before. We, uh, we look for char at, and then we compared doing here all right I would not recommend performing arithmetic on integers um, I would just use a better uh, if statement so I don't have enough patience to let this run yes I do want to cancel there we go so that seems reasonable right there All right, let's skip this next section because we've done something very similar to this um, back in chapter six.